Hello guys, uh, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to all the mods in 9. Today guys, yeah, brand new episode and this one is going to be very interesting. Yes, yes it is, because we are going to upgrade our gear. So let me show you very, very quickly if I can find my way around this place here. Yeah, but it's going to be an interesting one and uh, it's going to be an interesting one because we are going to update, uh, we are going to make new gear and then we are going to upgrade it to all the modium status. Oh yeah, that's going to be very, very powerful powerful indeed so let me show you how this works as you can see we got the smithing template from last episode in the ancient city thank you very much now what we need to do obviously is we are going to uh, make this pyromancer set a uh, gear set so we are going to make the boots we are going to make the leggings the rope and the hat now uh, you will see if i'm going to my uh, uh yeah to that to that uh, we are going to make these things now these things are going to require fire rune and uh, we are going to need well four of those fire runes so let's get those quickly going we have one two three and four we have plenty of this by the way this plank rune stones if i can get into uh, the thing i want to show you oh there you have it uh, that's the way it goes uh, you can actually find them from the dead king they will drop it but you don't have to necessarily get them from the dead king these things are going to drop from the ancient city as well and it's plenty plenty of chests of those so i have plenty of those and then of course you can convert them to fire rooms by uh, placing the blazers so that is how it's done we got the four in here but most importantly guys what we need to do next obviously is going to uh we need four of these things because if you see each one of these uh, pieces of gear requires one uh, smithing table so we are going to duplicate this thing and that's going to be a really interesting one to do so how are we going to do this? Well, we are going to need netherite and we are going to need specifically netherite ingots. We have two in here, but you can see we have plenty of netherite scraps as we saw a couple of episodes back. Say so how we can actually get them, how we can actually make the scraps. All the good stuff is on the playlist. So if you're interested to know how to get them, uh, look back a couple of episodes back, I think, and you can actually see how we do these things. Uh, very, very interesting, very quick, and uh, definitely it's going to help you long term. In the meantime as well, please like, comment, and subscribe because uh, because I can show you to do more of these lovely things in this uh, brilliant mod pack. And uh, going to there, well, we are going to need a total of, well, uh, quite a few of these uh, ingots. So let's do it very quickly. Okay, and as you can see, well, we could use essences uh, because uh, we could do it, but uh, uh, we don't have any at the moment, but we could actually make them with no problem at all. That said, we have plenty of gold ingots and plenty of netherite scraps. So we are going to grab quite a few of these guys. So uh, maybe, well, we are, we are going to need quite a few of these because we have to create a lot of these things. So uh, may, let me get just a few and whatever we don't need, it can go back. But you can see how many we can make because we have so many scraps in there. So I'm going to get 20 and then we are going to work around that. So let's duplicate the smithing template, my friends. And with that, my friends, now we had one and now, my friends, we have two. Look at this. It's simple as that. Of course, we are going to uh, carry on needing, uh, well, more of these things. Now we can have four of those and that is the amount that we are going to need. Simple as that, as long as you have the materials. Oh my God, this is getting really, really interested indeed. So now we have four. We have the fire runes as well, which in turn, we are going to convert those in yeah, in all the modium ones. So we need to do next. Well, we are going to create the actual base gear. So we are going to create the boots, of course, and the rest of the gear. And the next thing is going to be the uh, leggings. But as you can see, we ran out of arcane cloth. But because we have plenty of arcane essences and wool, well, we can make quite a few of those as well. So let me grab as many as I can. It's going to be, well, uh, over a stack, I think. But uh, it doesn't matter. We are going to need it at some point. So there you have it. Now we have uh, the uh, leggings. Let's make the uh, rope as well. Oh, man, I'm really looking forward to this because this thing, guys, yes, this thing is going to be very very powerful indeed so now we have the whole set in here i think it's time to upgrade don't you okay guys so we are back at the uh, smithing table which we is where we are going to convert these things but i want to show you the uh, stats of this based uh, of base uh, gear and as you can see look uh, we have eight percent fire spell power three armor and plus 100 max mana. It's going to be interesting to do that comparison in a minute when we actually upgrade these things. So, 
Uh, well, we need to upgrade it, and uh, that is what we are going to do next, guys. So, a smithing table it is, as you can see. Oh my god, this is going to be very interesting in this. So, let's do it, shall we? Okay, so let's do one thing at the time. I think that we are going to place one of these uh, guys in here. Let me make sure it's not going to use all of them, because uh, otherwise we are going to run into trouble. We are going to get the uh, boots, and then we are going to get one of the ingots that we have already. And look at these guys. Look at comparison, 8% fire spell power, plus 3 armor, and plus 100 max mana. Look at the difference. Look at this for armor, for armor toughness, plus 5% mana regeneration, plus 200 max mana, and plus 20% spell power. Oh my god, this thing is insanely powerful. So we are going to do the same as well with the rest of of the gear and i think it's going to look very nice indeed by the way so let's do all of it oh man i'm really looking forward to do this thing oh yes this is going to be very very nice so we got everything now back oh my god well uh this is going to be very interesting indeed and of course i want to show you something else guys and that is the fact that uh, if you have followed the series you will see that the mob spawner we've been collecting plenty plenty of these things which by the way we are going to need some of them in a minute as well so may as well grab him now uh, i'm going to get uh, one of those you can see it says fire spell slots and that's an epic spell book now because it's an epic spell book we are going to need the relevant scrolls so what i suggest we do in this one is that we are going to have to find them and that's going to be at ion that's going to be the uh, mod and you can see here we already have a lot of these things happening but you can actually narrow this even a bit more so we are going to do hashtags and we are going to do epic and all these are going to be now level seven as you can see epic 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 oh my god ascension scrolls a uh, chain creeper scroll 45 scroll okay skin my god look at this thing it's just we have a teleport as well and we have charge so uh yeah plenty to look into here but uh, not only that we have many many more as well because uh, we have the mob spawner completely going all the time so that is what we are going to do guys let's find some scrolls that we are going to be able to use at this point okay guys so as you can see this is for carry song as well and uh, making most of these uh, scrolls so we are going to need quite a few of those i already have selected well three epics in here and i'm going to use the shield scroll i'm going to use the uh, death scroll or race death scroll and the fire bolt scroll mainly because we are pyromancers we could actually find more in terms of pyromancing but you know what i'm going to be happy with that now keep in mind as well that you can actually have a uh, five spell uh, for every book that you have but i'm only going to use three at this point so i can show you how this thing goes but before doing that i think it's time guys to start yeah changing the way we look don't you look at this oh my god this is going to be so powerful oh my friends i am loving it look at this oh wow it looks very nice indeed <laughs> you will see as well on the left we have these five boxes in the uh, bottom of the screen and that is because i'm selected the um book of uh, spells and uh, once we select this uh, spells obviously the spells will show in there and then we can actually scroll and select which uh, one we want you can actually keep in there as well and if you want to you should do it why not something else i want to do before getting into the ions and spell books uh, mod is uh, well i want to upgrade my netherite pickaxe as well uh, that's going to be an important one because uh, at some point we are going to start uh, yeah, uh, mining for vibranium and all the good stuff that is coming after uh, doing all the monium. So, with that in mind, now we have an indestructible, as you can see, a pickaxe. This is very, very good. One of the best updates, and I love that all the mods brought this thing in. This is absolutely stunning. An indestructible pickaxe that we have now, ready for the vibranium, and all that good stuff is coming along the way to carry on in this journey of all the mods nine. So stay put, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's see what uh, Ion's spells and spell books have to offer. Oh, yeah, and I forgot the quest line as well that we need to really look into. So, as you can see, now we have uh, this uh, lovely thing text, and uh, we are going to get an uncommon reward in here, which is going to be Imperium Essence, which, uh, well, I love it. Anything that comes in terms of rewards, 
Oh man, you should take it. Uh, getting started, uh, we are going to get something from here as well. And remember, uh, guys, to uh, check your uh, quest lines. And as you can see, all the modium tools and armor. And as you can see, all the modium items start you on your journey to become OP. That's what we are heading, guys, to becoming OP. To start, all tools and armor items are indestructible, meaning no need to worry about breaking them or repairing them. Man, this is just a game changer it really is oh and we get an epic reward wow and that's going to be a stack upgrade tier 3 well thank you very much for that that is definitely appreciated as well and yes you can see well uh, we are going to have to do more things because uh, we got the money in dimension but also we have the other dimension and we have the beyond and these two my friends are going to be a very very difficult ones to uh, access and definitely very uh, difficult to survive at so uh, we are going to have to be absolutely prepared to face these things now before we start getting into all the uh, scrolls and the books and all that good thing well we are going to have to need an inscription table and that's coming from ions spell and spell books as well so we are going to need a book obviously we are going to need some uh, slabs and uh, two things or uh, uh, offense and with that well there you have it we have the uh, scribble oh yes we have that one and uh, we are going to place it well i found a little or trying to make a little cave which is not finished yet so don't judge me but uh, i make this little scene in here which uh, well we need to definitely have a good look in how it's going to be we need to decorate it i think it's going to be down here somewhere so there you have it uh, let me place it here somewhere oh uh, no that way obviously so let me grab my axe oh i don't have an axe with me well you know what all the ammonium let's place this shall we let's try it with this yeah yeah um yeah this is unbreakable my friend so there you have it okay so let's place it uh, maybe that uh, it works uh, well, yeah it can be working there and from this well my friends here's where the magic literally is going to happen okay guys so we are at the inscription table and as you can see well we are going to place the book at the top and you can see they opens this five slot those five slot is to place any scrolls that you want with the spells that you want in my case it's going to be a shield scroll it's going to be raised dead scroll and it's going to be the fire bolt scroll and as you can see well we are going to click on the oh barbarian southeast you know what how convenient this is going to be my friends yeah i think this is going to be very convenient indeed because we are going to try this thing on the barbarians we have selected the uh, fire bolt <laughs> Oh, well, uh, this is very, very nice. Where are the southeast? Uh, let's go find southeast very quickly. So they must be around this area here. And I wonder what these guys are going to be. By the way, still I have uh, my night vision on. You know what? Uh, see? Oh, my God. This is powerful, guys. Oh, wow. This is super powerful. Look, pretty much one shots this thing. Oh, man. Oh, wow. This is cool. This is very, very good. Of course, we still can put enchantments and all the good stuff on it as well. Oh, man, oh, man. Southeast, where the hell are they? Uh, let's find them, shall we, very quickly? Okay, guys, well, as you can see, I just cannot find these guys. Not too sure where they are. And I'm wondering if uh, they're going to be down here because the last spawn... Uh, uh, oh... Uh, they are dying somehow as well so okay well they are dying but uh, you know let's let's try on these zombies and all this thing i think this is going to be very powerful and what i was saying as well guys is that we can actually enchant or put normal enchantments on the top of that so oh my god yeah okay uh, well i think this is going to be very nice thank you very much oh wow this is very very nice let me check this one shall we uh, see how this goes uh, well uh, you know it is powerful and i think it's going to be interesting to have this on board uh let me see these guys oh yeah pretty much can shoot one one thing oh kill 50 spiders oh well we got that one as well oh yeah one shot in thank you very much oh this is so powerful guys oh this is ridiculous oh these guys are a bit bigger it takes a bit longer but oh my god this is pretty pretty cool you know what i'm going to do well, who are you oh let me see oh my god oh yeah i'm, I'm one shot in these ones as well oh oh my god you died oh my god well there you have it uh, dead as well oh my god this is really really good you know what we are going to do guys let's see let's try the other two and of course we are going to find more next episode guys 
We are going to find more scrolls. We are going to try different type of spells and all that good thing. Oh, man, this is... Oh, I just love it. What can I say to you? Absolutely loving it. Uh, let me explain something very quickly as well. Okay, uh, let's get that book back. Oh, this is not the one that I needed. Oh, uh, which one? Oh, we need... We need. Uh, we are on the wrong place. Quick, we need the uh, a scribble table. And uh, we are going to go there straight away because I want to show you a couple of things in case you are doing this. And I apologize if my explanations are not as uh, clear as they could be. I'm really excited. That's why. It, it, that's the end of it. Okay, guys? Uh, let me see very quickly. So let's go back to the uh, table in here. And uh, what we are going to do is place the book once again in there. And then we are going to get the shield uh, scroll in here as well. So that we have selected the shield scroll. Now, if for whatever reason you want to remove it, you only have to do is click on the spell you want to remove and just remove it. As simple as that. If you're going to place it back, well, simply place it and that's it. And then you can actually get it. All right. Uh, what's going to be? Uh, this is going to be pretty insane, I think. Uh, you know, I think I'm going to love this. This one I think I'm going to love. So my god uh oh we have some deaths you know what we are going to do guys i think that we are going to select uh select this thing by the way shift right uh shift click and move your mouse button you can select the spell as you can see on the left of the screen on the bottom so i'm going to select oh yeah yeah this beautiful necromancing one. Oh man i'm going to love this oh i'm going to love it let me see where they are these guys oh they are down here somewhere oh so they are here haha -ha. okay you know what guys look what i'm going to do what's this what's this oh look look at this oh look at my zombies oh my god look at this oh that's pretty cool and then what we can do of course is switch back again and we can start killing these guys because why not there you have it oh there yeah look at this oh man oh man this is good this is very good oh dude this is i'm loving it i, I absolutely loving this and uh, what's going on in there look oh my god my zombies are attacking everybody which is very very nice thank you very much wow this is definitely working very well as well okay so who are you uh i think this is one of mine look at these zombies going oh man this is very very interesting what the hell are you doing in here my friend i see you and you're going to die as well so there you have it oh man this is going to be very interesting wait until we have of course the uh enchantments as well on this thing but look at them they are just look at them all okay well uh i'm hoping uh, why are you trying to kill him no he's not the one to kill oh my god no he's killing everybody these guys are killing everybody oh man okay well it is what it is <laughs> what can i say <laughs> okay we will choose the right amount of or the right scrolls i would say but i wanted to give you an indication how these things works and it looks very cool indeed guys as you can see oh yes and well the barbarians are nearly dead because now we have uh, all that uh all our guards uh, doing very well with all the iron gear and all the good stuff. Uh, the barracks are coming up in a minute as well, which is going to be even great. Oh, the barracks are done already, so we need to look into that at some point as well. But I wanted to show you this uh, lovely upgrade. Uh, I think it's, 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 it's just incredibly uh, useful to do this. Uh, we will choose, uh, well, uh, maybe a different... We are a pyromancer. And yes, we killed the intruders. Oh my God, that was really, really good indeed. And as you can see them, look at them. Uh, they're going around and uh, well, doing their things. Uh, thank you very much. One thing that I need to look at is obviously uh, it's going to be the um, the uh, uh, zombies. When you spawn the zombies, if uh, they are actually uh, killing everybody or just enemies, that would be great to know as well. So we're looking into that at some point. Farms, everything is going. We have chicks. We have all the farms going. Uh, buildings here, buildings there. Some dead people, but you know it is what it is. What can we say, to guys? But uh, overall, well, I think that we are doing really, really well, especially with this new upgrade but something else that i want to show you is that mana bar nine whopping hundred mana that is huge guys that means that pretty much consistently we can actually uh, spam spells and uh, that's going to be a great thing to do so we have all the way done at this point uh, we have upgraded and we have everything that we need to uh, move on into the game nice upgrade so i think time to leave it here please like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next daily upload guys until then take great care